Hello everyone, welcome to 2021, welcome to my tutorials, welcome to my channel. This is just incredible that we have survived 2020, all by the grace of our creator who has given us what we say today is the breath of life. We all want to thank him for all the blessings that we have gone through to reach this particular year. I want to thank you all who have subscribed to my channel, who actually support me, who ask, who comment to my channel, ask me for various topics to talk about. I want, I don't know, I'm just forever indebted to you because it is you people who make me continue to develop this kind of content. And I want to pledge to you that I shouldn't, I will not disappoint you in the future tutorials that I make starting from this one especially now that I'm recording it on 1st January 2021. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but I'm um, just this week, inshallah. So with all that kind of uh, talks and uh, very long introduction, I just want to advise you to also follow the medical practitioner's advice, especially during the pandemic now that is extending in other countries because they are experts in that particular field. You don't know nothing about them. I also don't know nothing about that. So my expertise is in graphic design and that's why you are here probably to watch me. So I want to dive into the tutorials today. The last time I did a tutorial, it was about doing minimalistic designs, the designs that are actually going to be appealing, simple, attractive, communicate the message without a lot of uh, distractions it also has to be beautiful attractive so that people can actually keep on uh, not passing or scrolling i don't know what word they use there but anyway so i'm going to continue with that particular uh, line of, of 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 the direction of design and i'm still on the page for on behance i'm on the account for ingrid pinheiro 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 i don't know here or something from brazil this lady she did a very good design as you can see it here it's specifically done for social media unfortunately i do not speak portuguese so i cannot know the particular content of this but it's something to do with housing and interior design the equipment for the locks and those kind of things so i will try to borrow some idea on how she actually did this why you're watching these videos on my channel is because you want to know how designers do their designs. And I'm here to show you how they actually did it. So this particular lady, Ingrid, did this. I'm going to you to use one sample because no, I, I just realized I talk too much. I just realized that. But I will do this simple design. So I was still thinking which one, but let's go. We'll decide, we'll decide later. So this was the design that I did last time. And this particular one today, I'm going to just create a new document. Based on the template, I'm going to do, but it has to be an RGB color mode, 2000 by 2000 at 100 pixels per inch. And we have our document there. So I will choose uh, this one here for the lady that is here. This lady with an iPad. Uh, we're going to do that. So I have uh, several pictures that I took of this lady here, who is a very good friend of mine. So I'm going to use her in this particular design. I'm dragging the raw picture because beauty is what we look at in this particular designs, these kinds of designs. Shadows, I'm going to expand, I'm going to dim the highlights, then I'm going to do the blacks also low, just to get that. Um, all down, not that down, not that very down. Um, and then I'm going to come to the color mix. Um, greens, I will increase the colors of the greens, I'm going to increase the colors of the yellows. The oranges will go down a little bit. I know the scarf is somehow orange, so we don't really. My greens will be lighter here in the luminance. 
I'm good with it. I'll going, I'm going to open it. So it will take some few moments to open. I will use my Photoshop action, skin retouching action. So I'll go to the effects and then click play to see how it will actually look. We see that the beauty has actually enhanced. So we will do the transform and then we will transform her by command T or control T if you're on Windows. I think our contrast is a little bit so high. So I'll go to the vibrance and uh, I think the vibrance was so high uh, to reduce it somehow a little bit. Um, curves also, no, the curves are okay. Maybe levels. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's better. So you, sometimes you just do this kind of thing and you just change a little bit of it. So we have our picture, very beautifully taken, colorful. The same way you can see here, we have a colorful one. So I will do, because uh, when you see this design here, the one with the lady with the, of the lady with the iPad, it is so done simplistically and minimalistically. So I will use a rectangle, rectangle tool, a rounded rectangle tool, because that's what is used there. So to draw shapes that I will put uh, the quotes that we want to put. Um, these circles, I'm going to pull them a little bit inside. Mo, so we have one circle there. How many, how many shapes? One, two, three. Okay, so we'll put two and then three. So I'll duplicate this one. And then this will go down a little bit somewhere there. And this will go up and then I'm going to reduce the size of it. Then I will do this one like here. Actually, the, the one, this other one should be a different color. We'll put it same, same, almost same colors. Actually, it is same colors that I will put there. And then we have uh, this particular, this kind of a design. I'm going to put that. And then we have a third one. A third one is I'm going to duplicate this one here. And then I'm going to drag it down here. This is for the purpose of our logo. After that, I'm going to do another design because we have those ones that look somehow strokeish like it is just stroke. So I will do another like uh, draw another one like that. But it will be yeah, the feel will be transparent. The stroke will be yellow. And then the stroke is going to be a little bit uh, maybe somewhere like 13. Yeah, somewhere there 13. So but also another thing is that I will increase this roundness up to 30 so that it can be more rounder and then it will go like up there it will go below uh, below below yes yes so we can make it like up down there somewhere here and then we can duplicate it actually the stroke is somehow very big let me make it 11 and then I can duplicate it and then transfer it to this other side. Uh, I don't know. Can we do it here? Maybe down here, you know. And then we do like uh, this small. Just small. Just small. Mm, maybe you can put it down. I don't know. You can put it down here. Yes, that is okay. Still, I think the stroke is so big. Let's play around with the strokes. Yeah, four is better actually. It looks more, more better, more good, more beautiful, more, more nice, more nice. Four is good. Yes. So we have uh, da da da. Actually, what was done here is 
our subject was separated from the background so what am i going to do i'll duplicate the layer and this one here i'm going to convert the layers after converting the layers i will delete the background from it so that i can i can separate it from the background so i will remove the background so when you see this is actually how it is but now with the background so now that we have that now our small shape can actually go behind can actually go behind and then it has to come behind the image so it is behind her let me do it this way yeah mm. maybe it is good if we change the color you can see it is behind the head you know it is behind it is behind her uh, I still I'm not happy with how it is I don't know what I need to do but anyway so our image here we can try to put some shadows just a little bit to put to show that depth to show the depth putting a drop shadow you can see our drop shadow we need to increase the opacity a little bit then reduce okay sorry distance has to come somewhere there this one should go there opacity yes so we, we, we're good we're good to go with that so now that we have this i will come here and then copy this logo of mine uh, and then paste it here I will put it on this layer. Uh, it has to be on top so that it can be visible. Yes, now you can see it is there. So this is our logo. We'll put it there. And then the next one is now the quote. This yellow, this yellow one, we can increase to make it somehow small, somehow bigger. And then we can give a, a quote. Uh, let's say this is a, a program, maybe we can say this is a TV program. Let's say we can say tonight, tonight. And then we can make it this way. We put it on top here. And then when you put it there, after you put it there, now you want to put uh, the font, we want to put a text to show what the name of the program and what time. We can say home and, and decor. Let's say she's doing a program about houses and uh, interior design and those kind of things. So we are going to do this. Then we will put it here, home and decor. And then we're going to put another one to show the time. Maybe it is 20 p.m., 20 hours, East African time. Hmm. So we can do like this. Then we have it there. So home and decor. Then we have like that. So this is an example of uh, what we have. You can use this kind of a design. Uh, maybe the fonts are not beautiful. So that one for home and decor, we can use a different font. Uh, uh, I think it will go too much. Um, I think I should just stick with, let me look for my beautiful fonts right away. Yes, home and deco, right away, extra ball, let's put black. And then this one, you can go to right away again, but put bold. 
Uh, extra bold. Yeah, this is better. So you have it there and then you have our program. So you can go to drop shadows by the way you realize I use a lot of drop shadows because I like to show it somehow it is a technique that I feel like it is bringing some 3D effect on. <laughs> it is simple but somehow like a 3D effect that I, I normally want my designs to look like. That is what maybe distinguishes me from other designers. I don't know. But aren't they beautiful? You can tell me later. So this kind of a design, you can use it for any kind of, maybe you're promoting the, the hijab, the particular headscarf. Maybe you want to promote it. You can say new, you can replace that part for tonight. You can write new. And then this other bigger one, you can say the pricing of the scarf. You can write the particular material that the scarf is made of. Do that and it will be outstanding. And then you can post them on your social media platforms. So now that we have that, I can put something that we call a gradient. I like using gradients because they are absolutely outstanding. I will use uh, yellow, somehow yellow. Yes, I know, I know that. It kind of looks big, but I will show you in a minute what happens. Yeah. So that is what we have, our gradient, and then is showing our design. So compare that one and this, this one for a lady here, the uh, 16, the Julio, Julio, 16, Julio, Dia do Cormesiante, Apoye Cormesio Local. So maybe you can comment on my, <laughs> my Portuguese, how I, I read it. Is it perfect? Is it, can I do something about it? I don't know, but for today's tutorial, we are done with it. We've actually achieved that kind of a design that we wanted, if not better. So I want to thank you if you're still, because I know you're still watching now that you're hearing me, you're still watching this video till this particular time. I want to thank you because you have stayed with me all that time on this tutorial. Thank you so much for supporting me in that retention of time on this particular channel. Um, also, I want to encourage you to keep asking me questions because I receive questions and I only answer them when I get the opportunity to do this, to do so. So keep sharing this content, keep sharing, keep commenting on it, keep uh, telling people about it. Just spread the knowledge. It's so easy. Get Once it's beneficial to you, you'll know that it's beneficial. Share with other people so that the people who are struggling to understand graphic design, they can also learn from me and us. It's a collective responsibility, not only me, me, I just create them, but then you can watch and you can share with other people. And then let's create our our, our community to be more professional in the, in the design field. I will not talk too much on this particular topic, on this topic, till we meet again, till we meet in our next uh, tutorial. Thank you.